wherever you are. Uh, education ministry to rank senior high schools, that's according to the deputy minister of education. The deputy minister for education, Dr. Yao Edichum, says the ministry is planning to rank senior secondary schools according to their performances at the West African Senior Secondary Certificate Examination. That's WASI. And uh, on this particular issue, we're joined on the phone uh, by Mr. Otto uh, Pla. He is the PRO of the Ministry of Education. And also, uh, we're joined uh, by Ni Ade Ama. He is an educationist to uh, help us, uh, both of them, really uh, interrogate this particular issue a bit further. Very good evening, uh, sirs, and thank you so much for joining us on the show. Uh, good evening, and thank you for having me. And good evening to your cherished listeners. Mm. Great. Uh, let's begin the conversation with you, uh, Mr. Otto, uh, uh, Otto Pla, uh, the Minister, the, the PRO for the Ministry of Education. Uh, help us get the rationale, as we have gotten a bit from the story, but help us get the rationale generally uh, behind this new idea that the Ministry wants to put out. Thank you very much, and then uh, good evening to your cherished listeners. Uh, first and foremost, you agree with me that uh, when a student, you know, who has AIDS, you know, A1, in the WASI exams, is sent to a first class school where he is able to get AAAs, you know, much is difficult to assess his performance. Then when you get a student, who is not performing all that well, who is sent to a school and comes out with is, you can straight away tell, you know, a lot of value has been added to such a student. We will need to rank this course because it becomes more competitive in the first place. Mm. One example that comes to mind is uh, Kumati Anglican SHS, which has being charted as one of the good schools. Because previously it's a school uh, nobody wants to attend. But with improvement in facility mm. and then a change in leadership, I mean that school has been turned around and is now a school of choice to many students. I see. So, very quickly, you would hold on, and let me also get the thoughts of uh, uh, Mr. Ni uh, Ade Ama. He's an educationist. And so, sir, very quickly, if you look at the rationale as has been outlined by the PRO, uh, what, what do you make of it from where you also sit and from your uh, knowledge of how some of these is issues work out? Uh, thank you very much again. Uh, I've listened to Mr. Otopla, if I'm right, by the pronunciation of his name. And uh, I don't uh, actually to get anything directly from what he has said so far. But uh, let me let me get to what was published in the newspaper of today. And fundamentally, I agree with with a uh, school ranking system. But in the, 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 even though I have my reservations, because the whole concept of a, a ranking system has been huge issue of argument in, in the Western world where we bring in these concepts from. So it's a kind of a missed reaction from all the literature that put out there concerning a school ranking system. Therefore, if what we want to do here is an attempt to improve or really put that, that value, that quality that makes schools stand out as what we want to see in our effort of ranking them, then we'll be speaking in the right direction. From what I read from the new super publication, which the, 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 the Deputy Minister for Education, Dr. Duchum, if I'm right, mm, yeah. said that they're going to publish the, the, the YC results, then that becomes nothing different from what we know. It's a mere publication of school results, and that does not go into what school ranking system intends to do in order to bring quality to our educational system. Mm. And so for you, uh, what do you pick out from this is perhaps just a reiteration of what we know already, publishing the schools uh, based on their performance. But uh, quickly, uh, Mr. Otopla, is there anything new we're going to have aside the publishing of the schools based on how they performed 
in in the wasi does anything else come with this new idea of ranking thank you very much you know there will be improvement in facilities first and foremost uh let me thank my other colleague for his uh exposition on the issue i think he has very good ideas and the ministry has been having a lot of stakeholder meetings and i think some of us them whatever ideas they have they could have brought it to bear on the totality of the the whole issue because uh, it's education system in ghana and we are all concerned and everybody needs to come on board with whatever views they have because the stakeholder consultations still continue. It has not ended yet. The ministry thinks this is the best way to go to be able to assess performance or to get the best out of education. And uh, it has been going on with its meetings for some time now. Definitely, it will not be as it used to be, the old system it used to be. As I've already stated, if you have a a polished diamond already, and then you add value. It will not be comparable to an unpolished diamond that you have brought polish. That's what I'm saying. With the new system, the the what the with the new system, there will be nationwide ranking, and then there will which will also be based on the performance academic performance index. And then there will also be similar schools ranking. You know, schools within the same area, you, you compare the performances, and then you see the best. You know, it becomes more competitive as schools try to enter a certain category. And that is the whole idea behind this new mm. system we want to operate. I, I see. Uh, Mr. Niyadi, is this sort of competition even healthy in the first place? Is it ultimately going to yield some very good results or we're going to get back into a situation based on the fact that there's a huge disparity currently uh, among all the schools that exist such that we're going to have a great deal of schools being shunned by many schools and pressure mounting on a lot of others that we consider as very elite and very good? I don't think that would rather be the situation. You know, recently, if you bear with me, the science and math quiz, you saw the interest it generated nationwide. You know, everybody wants their school to shine. All boys and girls are behind everything. So with the ranking, everybody will want their schools to perform. You know, and besides, once there will be improvements in facilities, and then this time as it's uh, being uh, said, it will not be the usual thing for, let's say, you just step in line as a headmaster because the one there has either retired or left the same. Now, there will be special training. If you want to head a school, you have to go through special training uh, to know how to administer a school properly. So with that and discipline being enforced, books and others, I think there will be more improvement. I see. Uh, okay, can I have my yeah, 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 go ahead and make your point. Okay, good. Uh, let me say to let me thank uh, Mr. Sopla for for that invitation and to say that uh, I, I'm not aware, I've not been invited to any stakeholder meeting in this direction. But if I am, of course, as a Ghanaian and an educationist who wants our country to go forward, why not? If I have the chance and the opportunity, I'll gladly come and uh, put my contribution to the discussion that is ongoing there. Be that as it may, let's get to the issues of ranking again. I mean, if you want, you want to rank, well, first of all, from the minister's uh, 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 publication and to retreat to what he said, they're going to rank the school's days on the results. That is one part. Mr. Osupply is saying us that they're going to do based on the national level, on the regional level, on the district level. But before you rank, before you rank and to say that this is doing better than this, then you have to have what you call educational commons, which means that you have to put all the schools on equal pedestal so that the, 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 the assessment will be fair. Okay, so that matrix will have to come into play for us to know what, 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 the, what criteria. Okay, once all the educational congruence that puts all schools on that equal pedestal are present, then 
uh, assessing them or ranking them will be a fair thing. It's just like the English Premiership League. And then you're saying that you want to compare a, 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 a Premiership team to one in a third division or so. It doesn't work until you bring all of them to, let's say, uh, play a common league. Okay, that aside, we have schools that run the same curriculum. All the schools run the same curriculum. They all study the same curriculum and they all write a national examination. Yeah. But in their terminal examinations, they don't write the same exam. If I'm wrong, Mr. Otopla will tell me that a school has the autonomy to conduct its own examination, which prepares its students to write the final national exam and to pass and compete to, uh, to placement in university. Okay. So that if you want to rank them, one of the things you want to do right from the start is to make sure that they're all writing same exams across the world. So that if it's the district, and all the schools in the district write same set of exams from, say, JH1, JH2, JH3, then you can track their performance and see where they fall short, and then you can fill in the gaps. Mm. But if you're going to use just the final year exams, which is the end of national exams, where everything leading to that point is that's not, are not the same, then we're not going to get the same result. An example with the math and science quiz, which repeatedly we continue to use, I have said that they are not even. Because in every school, no matter how you describe it, be it elite, popular, not popular, you will find a few students who are good. So if you put up two, three good students from the school to face another three good students from either popular and unpopular schools and they compete evenly, it doesn't give a broader picture of general performance of the whole students in the school. Mm. Are you talking of a league that categorizes or assesses the performance of all students in the school. Okay. So I'm sure definitely there might be some steps to be taken. There might be a couple of things to be to be considered. Great. Because even again in the developed countries that we're picking these things from, there are lots there. So that if we are now starting it, we don't start it with the things that we are complaining, mm. but we start it filling the gaps that are there so that we have a better food in in order to have a good ranking system that considered mm. not only academic performance, but the totality of developing Great. a pupil. Great, a Niyama. And, and, and Mr. Otopla, you would uh, respond to this very quickly as we try and wrap up on this conversation. And then maybe finally, let us know, is consultation still ongoing? And when exactly do we expect the implementation uh, of this ranking system to, to begin? Thank you very much. I think I like the passion with you. My colleague at the other end, it's, uh, it's going about the issue. Uh, I'll thank him very well. Thank you, too. Mr. Cons- Mr. Con- con- consultations are ongoing, and with the passion he, he, he has for education, I think the doors of the Ministry of Education are still open. When next there is uh, any stakeholder meeting, I can assure him if we have his uh, address, he will get an invitation. So that the ideas he has, what we are doing is for the whole nation to benefit. And people like him will not be left out. I they can will. assure him. So we, we welcome so much whatever suggestion he has to bring on board. Great. So respond to the other bit for me. Uh, do we have any idea when this uh, implementation is going to uh, begin or get take off? Uh, no date has been set out yet. As uh, consultations are still ongoing. Mm. Very well. Uh, gentlemen, this is how much time we have on this. Uh, I'll definitely, uh, we'll come back and have a conversation on this and see the way forward. We're very grateful to you, Mr. Otto Plaha, PRO Ministry of Education. And of course, to you also, Niadi Ama, uh, an educationist. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Great. And so that's a bit there on that particular conversation. Very interesting.